What's up, guys? This is Andy here with Ultimate Device Vids, and I'm back in the home studio from college this weekend. It's good to be home. But as usual, I'm going to be showing you guys some new jailbreak tweaks that have been released lately. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it. So first up, we have 3D Color Changer. This one's available for free, and it allows you to change the color of 3D Touch menus on your device when you go ahead and 3D Touch on an application on your home screen. So as you can see right here, I've changed it to red in this instance, and there's also a couple other really cool options as well that you can configure to your liking. So if you guys jump into settings, you can head over to 3D Color Changer, and of course, the first option at the top is just the Choose a Background Color, which just allows you to pick using this little wheel here any background color of your choice just pick your color slide everything over here to the side make sure it's correctly set then you could just tap down here then of course the color will set you could also choose your label color as well which I have set to white right now but you could do the same thing for that as well um, now there's also the auto detect app colors which is marked as a beta but it actually works perfectly and this is actually what I recommend doing because it makes it look much better and much more practical. Basically it will just base the color of the menu off of the color of the app icon. So because the app store is blue, it's a blue color, you can see iTunes is pink just like that and it actually looks really really good. It looks much better than choosing your own color because of course it just looks integrated into the system. So for every application again it will be fitting to the color of the app. So that's definitely what I recommend using. Um, there's also the uh, add a borderline around the menu option which will just add a border as the name suggests like that as you can see there's that border you could increase the size of the border with this as you see here or decrease it to your liking so uh, no respring required as you as you're seeing here and again it just provides some spicing up to that interface to that menu of your device again I recommend the dynamic option which is called auto detect because again it will give you specific colors based on the app icon but once again it's called 3d color changer it's available for free next we have small volume step this one's available for free and this tweak will allow you to control the increments in which your volume adjusts when you touch the volume buttons on your device so basically as you see right here uh, with this volume HUD, there's actually 16 dots here and of course when you tap the volume buttons it increases by one each time you click it as you would expect but if you want to change that and you want it to increase and decrease at a different increment you could do that with this tweak so just jump into settings on your device and then open up small volume step and in here you could just change the number so again by default there's 16 dots there 16 notches but you could change it so if you wanted to increase and decrease at a higher amount than it normally does you want to set the number to something less than 16 so I'm just going to set it to 5 and if you want it to increase slower you could set it to something higher than 16 but I'm just going to show you guys what 5 looks like so as you can see right here it's going to allow me to increase it much faster and decrease of course as well so as you can see right there I could just adjust my volume at a much faster rate because of course as you see there it actually adjusts several notches each time I click as opposed to just one so that's definitely more convenient for some people depending on how you use your device now if I wanted it to adjust slower I could do that as well so let me put it to something higher than 16 let's just say 30 and now I'll just show you guys when I go ahead and press the volume buttons as you can see right there when I press the button once it doesn't necessarily go down one notch as you see there I actually, actually, actually have to press it a few times for it to actually increase or decrease so again, this is the opposite of what you know anything smaller than 16 would result in but yeah guys again you can, you can configure this to your liking in here however you want to manage it and once again this is called small volume step it just allows you to change the you know increments in which you increase and decrease your volume on your device with phone dial reformer is free and it allows you to change the size of the numbers in the keypad in the phone application so you can make them more square just like this and as you can see everything just works nice so if you prefer this look you can get that and you could of course adjust the shape to your liking if you jump into settings and head over to phone dial reformer uh, you can enable or disable it and then of course you have the ability just to configure the size and once you make your change you want to just go ahead and double click and swipe up on the phone app to kill it then you go ahead and jump back into the phone app and then your change will be reflected so we'll just try that again we'll change it to something different then we'll kill the phone app go back over here and you can see there the change does reflect so uh, if you have a certain theme that maybe has certain elements that are a certain shape you can make your phone keypad match with this tweak phone dial reformer it's free next up we have no to theft this one's available for 99 cents and this tweak ensures that someone isn't going to steal your iphone when you're charging it in a public environment maybe you're at you know at a bar or club or you're at a friend's house or something and it's crowded and you're charging your phone and you don't want someone to take it unplug it and you know steal it so basically this tweak will warn you when someone unplugs your device device 
from when you're charging it. It'll start playing a loud alarm until you enter the passcode that you choose or just scan your finger with Touch ID. So let me show you guys how this works. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug my device in here and I'm gonna unplug it and it's gonna be loud, I'm gonna warn you. So as you can see right there, enter your pin or you could scan with Touch ID if you have that enabled. I have mine as one, two, two, three. Select continue and it's silent. So that will definitely warn you though if you're in a public environment. And by the way, if your volume set to something lower, it will automatically you know, make it the highest to warn you. And if you don't know the passcode, I'll show you guys what happens if we click cancel. As you can see right there, it just doesn't stop. You can't turn it down, nothing works. So uh, in this state, I found you have to actually respring or reboot to get it back to normal. Um, but again, it definitely does its job properly. Now there's also the Wi-Fi network safe zone option, which is really cool. Basically in the settings, which I'll show you in just a second, you can enter three Wi-Fi networks of your choice that this tweak will automatically disable itself for. So when you're at home, this won't happen or, you know, any other location that you choose. So I'm just gonna go ahead and turn on my Wi-Fi and I have it set for my home network right now. So as you see there, when I connect to Wi-Fi like I am right now, I'll show you that this tweak automatically disables itself. So it just knows that I don't want it to happen. So I unplug it, nothing happens. So let's jump into the settings and I'll show you guys how to set this up. So we're just going to head over to settings and we're just going to go ahead and scroll down to no to theft, open it up. So of course up at the top you have the ability to enable or disable the tweak. Then you have your custom pin. Again, this tweak does also work with Touch ID so it's easier that way, but I chose to use a pin right now. So you just enter it right there and have that toggled on. Then you have your Wi-Fi network safe zones. So as you can see there, there's three slots. So just put in the network name and then you're good to go. And just hit apply changes and make sure you select respring. But I, don't, I didn't change anything so I'm not gonna do that right now. And that's pretty much all for this tweak. So this definitely is helpful if you charge your phone frequently in you know, public environments. Next, we have text counter. This tweak will allow you to count how many messages you have inside your messages application. So in the form of the total amount of messages, the messages you sent, the messages you received, and you could also go into individual uh, conversation threads and get that information for that specific thread as well. So let's just go ahead and jump into the messages app here. And to get it for just total your messages in your messages application, you just tap up here. As you can see right there, just like that, we see it right here. So as you see, there's an O and then it's colon. So basically O is overall. So there's also a monthly mode, which I'll show you a second and basically how this works is uh, from left to right it goes total sent received so seven total two sent, and five received so if we tap again we get the monthly and of course it's the same for the monthly uh, you know as of right now for me just because this is demonstration I actually deleted a lot of my messages here a little while ago so let's go ahead and jump into an individual thread and then if you tap on details you can see as you can see right there there's a new section and it says overall and monthly it's the same statistics total sent received and again you can see between overall and monthly so this is definitely a fun tweak if you just want to kind of get a sense of how much you're messaging people uh, just how insane those numbers are I can't even imagine you know this isn't my daily driver right now so I can't really run this test accurately but it's definitely a fun thing to play with and just cool to think how much we text in our lives so once again this is called text counter and it's available for one dollar no options to configure as all through the messages application itself but alright guys, that pretty much wraps up this video. Hope you guys found some good tweaks to install. Uh, definitely some cool ones found in this list. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and subscribe to this channel for many more videos pertaining to jailbreak tweaks, iOS, iOS devices, that kind of thing. Also make sure to follow the channel on Twitter, like it on Facebook, and also make sure to follow me on Twitter. I'll put all those links down below in the description. And by the way, guys, I recently hit 7,000 subscribers, so I just want to say thank you guys so much for all your support. You know, I just, I really enjoy growing this channel, showing you guys all the best jailbreak tweaks and, you know, some iOS stuff as well. And I cannot wait for the iOS 10 jailbreak. You know, there'll be a lot of cool stuff coming out, you know, as soon as that does happen. So, again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.